everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today I am so excited. I put a little bit more effort in today, kind of. <laughs> I've got a little bit of velvet on even though you cannot see it. I am not topless, okay, I am wearing something. I just, you just can't see it, okay? <laughs> Why am I wearing some velvet, you ask? Well, it is because today I'm going to be testing, demoing, so watching the brand new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Bloodlust Palette. Oh, look at this baby. As soon as I saw this online, I just knew I needed it. I knew I wanted it in my collection. I mean, look at this. This is actually insane. I know it's been a little while since I last uploaded and I do apologize. I've had a lot going on uh, in my personal life. My friend is getting married so I'm constantly with her trying on dresses and everything and it's a blessing to be a bridesmaid. So I am doing a lot of things. Also I do work full time. It's not even the filming, it's the editing of the videos that takes hours on end. Like literally I take about like five, well not even more than five hours to edit a video. Like it just takes so long. I'm gonna try and push out as many videos as I can. So please just bear with me and I really appreciate you sticking around. And thank you to all the new people who have subscribed in my absence as well. I truly do appreciate it. Like honestly, every single time I go to look at my YouTube, I think I'm gonna like have lost like everybody. <laughs> I have got things filmed, I just need to edit and upload them, you know, like a YouTuber should. But yeah, anyway, let's get on to this video. This is a 18 pan eyeshadow palette. I got mine from Beauty Bay. It was also available on Jeffree Star's website and his other retailers like Morphe, I think. It was... <clears throat> 54 pounds. Yes, you killed me, okay, it was 54 pounds, okay, that is a lot of money for eyeshadow. I know, <laughs> but I just, I mean, I don't buy a lot of collection pieces from Jeffree Star, but I knew as soon as I saw this, I was gonna use the colors that were in here. I love the color purple. Today you can see I kind of went a little bit all out with the look because I wanted to use as many shades as I could from the palette. I'm gonna stop talking and I guess we should just show you what it looks like inside. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've seen it already, but let's, let's open this baby up. As you can see, it's in a crushed velvet outer packaging and then it's got this emblem on there which is a crown with the star inside the most extra packaging i've ever seen in a makeup palette but then when you open it up it looks like this oh look at this it is crazy okay so we have an array of mattes and some shimmers with also a few different kind of formulas in here we've got these which are an actual brand new formula and then we also have this one which he didn't really touch on a lot in his release video apart from saying it's like crazy sparkly executioner but it's like a matte with like the shimmer which is similar to the kind of formula that we saw in the Tati Booty palette um but yeah I'm just really excited to show you guys how these performed I'm going to show you guys how I created this look in this video again I tried to use a lot of the shades a lot of the formulas everything like that in this look if you're interested in how I did this then please stay tuned right now we're gonna jump into the swatches so you can see all the beautiful shades on my very pasty the uh, arms so pretty much a very blank white canvas if you're new don't be afraid to subscribe for all my future content just hit the red button and the bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload um, but yeah I'm gonna stop talking your ear off and uh, let's get into the swatches so we have your majesty which you're not gonna be able to see on my skin tone at all <laughs> take the crown I'm gonna go over your majesty one more time see if there's any anything no nothing Okay, <laughs> then we have Deviant, Beauty Sleep, and Wet Jewel, which I will say the Wet Jewel shade felt almost wet in the pan. I'm just gonna go over the Deviant shade one more time. It is a pastel shade, so it may not swatch the best, but we'll see how it works on the eyes. Then next up we have Royal Pain. Ooh, it's a pretty rosy tone. Dungeon, ooh. It's a real deep purple. And then Scandal Water, which looks like a beautiful purpley blue. So that's the first eight shades right there. They're pretty easy to take off. Continuing on, we have Sworn Enemy. Kind of looks similar to a shade in the Conspiracy palette, if I'm honest. Then we have Pink Magic, and then Bleeding Heart. This was a really dry formula in the pan, but oh my lordy lord, that is insane pigment wise oh wow. Next we have the shade Executioner, which I don't know how this is gonna swatch, but we'll give it a go. Oh damn, that's watched a lot better than I thought it would. Oh my god, look at that sparkle. 
that is insane okay then we have high king okay, i'm gonna do that another once over still not the best but okay <laughs> and then we have vivid mood which feels a lot creamier and we'll just try and wipe this one off i'm hoping it doesn't crazy stain me <laughs> well actually that red has not really stained my arm at all which is great all right for the final row we've got monarchy Ooh, that looks like a pretty brown blood queen vile serpent and then finally executioner they look very similar, but one's a shimmer and one's a matte. Alright, so let's get right on into it. I'm just gonna pin my hair back. We have a little friend over here today, so um, let's just try and ignore him. He's not invited to this party, but he decided to show up anyway. Okay. <laughs> As soon as I saw this palette, I kind of had a look in mind and I want to use some of the pastel shades. So I'm going to be going in with my P. Louise base, but in the shade Ruma Zero. And I'm just going to pat this all over the lid as per usual. This is really going to show up any brow hairs that I have that are rogue. So um, this is pretty normal on the channel. I never have groomed brows. <laughs> so you guys aren't going to be that surprised. The white is just going to make them stand out even more which is just great. Okay, so now we have that down. These shades are also beautiful. I don't know what to go in with this all. Um, I think we're gonna be doing like a cut crease gradient moment. That's kind of what I wanna do. So I wanna kind of lay down the crease first of all. First shade that I'm gonna go in with is called Vivid Mood. Kind of a deep lavender shade, which is really, really pretty. Very pigmented, only dips in a few times. Just gonna start right in the inner corner here. Whoa, okay, there is a lot of pigment <laughs> it's always great news kind of focusing this by here because i want to use as many colors as i can taking this quite high above the crease because when i cut my crease i still want to be able to see the color and i'm using this morphe x jeffree star sj512 brush by the way once i've got the color down i'm just gonna do little circle motions to blend this out which blends so freaking easily <laughs> it is a very very beautiful purple. I love that. Just deepening it up a little bit. We're just packing on the colour a little bit more. Now to deepen up the base of the colour, I'm taking Blood Queen and I'm going right underneath that. Damn, the pigment on these is crazy. Just taking a little bit more of Vivid Mood and just blending that out. Okay, now I'm taking the shade Royal Pain and I'm going next to the purple. Kind of blending them into one another. Just going in with a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna blend the edges. These are so effortless to blend. They just do it by themselves. Now I'm going in with the shade High King and going underneath Royal Pain and I'm just making a gradient once again. It's kind of more like a pinky purple. For all my people with hooded lids, remember to look straight on in the mirror, so make sure you can still see the color and make sure that you're happy with the placement you know, like I want to pull this slightly higher on this side, so that's what I'm going to do here. Just to make sure my eye doesn't like droop down, you know? Alright, now I'm going in the blue shade, which is called Scandal Water. And I'm going to continue this colour gradient. I love this blue shade, it's perfect. Okay, so with these first two colours, I kind of had a darker version of it to deepen up the crease. But I don't with this blue and I really want to deepen it up so I'm going to attempt to go in with the shade Dungeon. Fingers crossed I'm going to go in very lightly so I don't have too much and don't go crazy. Let's try and deepen this up a little. Okay I think that worked quite well. I am just going to deepen it up a little bit more in the crease and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so at the moment, I think I look a little crazy. I don't think you can see my intention quite yet. Um, <laughs> but let's move right on along, shall we? I'm now going to cut the crease and I'm just gonna use the white P. Louise base again to do that. Okay, so I just cut the crease and I've also packed up a little bit of the P. Louise base over here. I think I'm gonna go into the shade Deviant and start that from the inner corner. By the way, the shade that I've got the most kick up in at the moment is the shade Vivid Mood. Apart from that, the rest of them are actually all right. It doesn't really bother me that much, so sorry, I forgot to, you know, discuss it. There is a little bit of kick up in the pan. This is crazy pigmented. Look how much has come off on the brush there. Like, that's crazy for a more pastel color. I'm just gonna pack this on the inner, kind of third of the eye. Oh, that is 
That is such a pretty colour. I love this. <laughs> and this is so easy to pack on, especially for this type of shade. Like what? I am kind of flawed with that because usually with these kind of shades there'd be patchiness, there'll be oxidization, there'll be kind of separation with the colour, but that is just seamless and pastel and all I want in a pastel purple. That is so good. Okay, next colour. I'm gonna go into the shade Scandal Water again and I'm gonna tap off a lot of the excess because I do want this to be more of a pastel colour than a vibrant blue like what's showing up on my brush. So let's see if we can make this work. Let's start patting it on very lightly. That is the kind of colour I was wanting. This is working out really well for me. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm just kind of patting the colour on with minimal product on the brush and it's just creating that wash of colour that I want. And I'm just patting over the edge of the purple to blend them together. Beautiful. I love that. Now I'm going to do exactly the same but with the shade Royal Pain, which is a kind of rosy pinky colour, but I want to try it on the lid and see if it'll work and go with everything that's going on right now. It may not, but that's fine. You can hopefully fix it afterwards. This colour is like a little bit strange. I know why they put it in there because because it's kind of like a blending colour but it's like a rose tone but it has like a flesh undertone like almost a beigey undertone it's a very unique shade but I think it is a good colour to add where you have so many purples that may struggle to blend into the skin tone etc it's like as I'm blending it I can see like yellow in it as well if that makes any sense this is just my eyesight <laughs> could be. I don't know if this is going to blend in with the blue. I may have to add a little bit of purple in to do that. I'm going back in with the blue and I'm going to blend it together. Hopefully. It's looking a little patchy right now. Hmm. I may have made a bad decision with this one. Okay, I think I might have made it work. It's not the best blend I've ever done, but it looks okay for now. And I'm gonna be doing a lot on this outside corner, I think, so it shouldn't matter too much. <laughs> I will say this pink isn't the best. It's looking a little patchy right now. It might just be the way that I'm patting it on, but it's kind of clinging to areas. Can you see that? I'm like placing down the product, but it's kind of skipping in areas. It does blend very easily though. Uh, now I'm gonna do something that may completely ruin this look that I've spent about an hour on already. <laughs> I wanna use the shade Vile Serpent, but I wanna create kind of like a wing that's not a wing. I don't know how, I don't know how to describe it. Um, <laughs> but I just wanna kind of cut shadow and have a really like stark line and kind of bring it in. I don't know if I should do it because I'm gonna ruin this like ethereal thing that I've got going on that I really like right now. I'm going to take a angled brush and I'm gonna just kind of draw out a line of where I'm thinking of putting the teal. Wish me luck. Cause I'm gonna need it, okay. Can you kind of see the vision? I wanna basically pack that color out here and blend it beyond. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a packing brush and then blend it. So I'm just gonna go to town with this color and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I feel like I've fluffed it up, but it's fine. <laughs> We're gonna persevere. Um, I'm now going to create a kind of blank canvas here for some liner. Um, but we're gonna use the shimmers to create the liner. So I'm just gonna do this with an angled brush with some more P. Louise base. All right, so I really wanna try this new formula in here. I'm gonna first go in with Wet Jewel and take it about halfway across this. So let's see what all the fuss is about. Ooh. Don't think this is the best brush to be using it with, if I'm honest, but I'm just using a small enough brush to really get on the liner. Ooh, I haven't showed you guys my little contraption. <laughs> it's like a stationary holder thing with like compartments and stuff, but look at this. It spins. Honestly, lifesaver. Like if I'm like, oh, I want my eyeshadow brushes, but my powder brushes are there, I can just be like, ta-da, they're there, ready? Honestly, I highly recommend you get yourself one. Okay. <laughs> Guess who thought she was recording and wasn't. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off 
this eye and then I'll go to this eye, partially do this one and show you what I did to make it easier so you actually get to see the application and everything. As you can see I kind of did a little bit of a metallic liner. We'll get into it in a second so I'll just be right back. Alright so for the inner corner what I did is I went in with the colour Wet Jewel and I did dampen this with some setting spray because I felt like to get the kind of foiled effect I needed to dampen it so that's what I did. Okay and then on the outer half I've taken the shade Pink Magic and I've put that over top of the white base. I do find this new formula is quite crumbly so just an FYI. Like they're effortless to pick up from the pan on your brush but they do crumble a bit. Not so much on my face but in the pan they're very crumbly so you don't need to dig your brush into the colour. The actual effect is gorgeous. I really love that wet jewel shade on the inner corner. That all over the lid would look magical. Now I'm gonna put on a lash, do my base, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, um, it's actually the next day, okay? <laughs> I did the exact same look on my eyes. I can explain, okay? <laughs> Basically, I, um, I just got in a real bad mood. <laughs> it was late, I was tired, I'd had enough, like, I just really, like, took my makeup off and went to bed, like, I was just done. Nothing to do with the eyeshadow at all. Just my, just me. <laughs> so, I took a nap, I, I had some me time, okay, I spoke to myself and gave myself a pep talk. <laughs> and I am back, okay, to finish up the makeup look. Also, I've tried some new products on my skin. Don't know if I like the way it looks, but we're gonna carry on and persevere and finish this eye look up because this has literally been going on for days now. <laughs> The eyelashes I went with were the Unicorn Cosmetics ones in Flamey. They're really nice and fluttery, but they don't like take over the look. I really like these lashes, which by the way, I do have a discount code for Unicorn Cosmetics. It's KLARA15, I think, and that either saves you like 10 or 15%. I'm not exactly sure how much it is. It is an affiliate link, so if you're not comfortable, please don't use it. But I'd just like to make you aware that if you want to save some money. I've just eaten, so I think my mouth is a bit messed up, I apologise. My skin looks so powdery right now. Okay, anyway, let's finish up these eyes. My skin looks so powdery right now. Okay, anyway, let's finish up these eyes. I absolutely adore this blue shade, Scandal Water. It's just such a pretty shade of blue. Okay, now for my waterline, I'm actually gonna take this base by P. Louise and M -M Mitchell. It's the Ibiza, or Ibiza shade, and we're gonna put this in my waterline. All right, now I wanna add like a little bit of an inner corner highlight, but there isn't really one in this palette for my inner corner that's light enough in my opinion. You can go ahead and use like the wet jewel tone if you want to. Let me see what beauty sleep is like. Maybe that would work actually. I'll give it a go. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. On darker skin tones, this would look amazing as just like a face highlight. Ooh. Okay, so I've pretty much loved every single eyeshadow shade in this palette so far and I haven't had any problems with any of them apart from that pinky shade kind of on the outer corner. And I think that was more user error than the actual product in itself because it's just the shades, they just don't blend together that well, which, you know, that's basic color theory. <laughs> but I wanted to try it anyway. The one shade in here that I was a bit like, whoa. The fallout on the shade Your Majesty is kind of insane. Um, if you're using like a fluffy brush, it does just fluff everywhere. So just an FYI, but it is a very pale white shade. I just use that to kind of like blend the edges around my brows a little bit. These eyes are all done after, you know, two days of working on them. I'm just gonna finish off, you know, the rest of my face and everything like that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so my final thoughts on this palette. So the matte shades are incredible, even the like pastels, they blend out so well. They don't fluff away, the pigment doesn't disappear, it stays there, but you can blend it, like it's amazing formula-wise. These shimmers, they aren't as like metallic as personally I would look for a shimmer, but they are very pretty, like that inner corner one is gorgeous. This wet formula is incredible. I think they definitely would work on a better surface area, like a bigger surface area than what I've given it because I just kind of used it as like a liner today. But they do pick up the light very, very nicely and they do almost have that wet look. The only thing with these kind of wet look shades is they are a little bit more crumbly than the rest of them. 
Um, like I kind of have like glitter particles all over the palette now because of those shades. But on the actual eye, you know, they look beautiful so it's not too bothersome but it's just something to note. One shade that I had a lot of excess fallout was the Your Majesty shade which is the light white in here. But whites do usually have quite a bit of kick up just because of the nature of the shade. I do think it's a really beautiful palette, like the attention to detail even in the packaging. One thing I would say is I don't know how much of a fan I am of the packaging now that I'm actually like holding it. Like it feels weighted, it feels heavy, it does feel like velvet, I don't know, it's already picking up cat hair, like I have two cats, okay, it's just gonna draw attention to things and things are already sticking to it. It is beautiful to look at but I don't know how practical it is. This would not be travel friendly. <laughs> it does have a big mirror in it, oh that side profile is really not it. I do like the clasp on it, like jewellery clasp when I open it, it kind of makes like a weird noise like can you guys hear that? <laughs> um, but apart from that, packaging aside, the formula is really good, the eyeshadow is amazing. I'm probably going to use these colours quite a bit. I love the pinks and the purples, and probably one of my favourite shades in the entire palette is this blue here. Scandal Water, like oh my gosh, and like Deviant. Beauty Sleep, that colour is just insane. Vivid Mood, like there's so many shades that I love in here that I actually think I'm going to get a lot of use out of. I think you'd look in here and think it's not very wearable, but personally I think it is. I think you can create quite a few looks with this, so I'm excited to play around with it some more. Keep an eye on my Instagram, which is just at Kirialara, same way it is here, for a few more looks with this because I have a feeling I'm probably going to play around with it quite a bit more. This video has literally been like two days in the making, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm sorry about my rough makeup appearance, okay? The products I tried today did not do me justice. Um, <laughs> like I've got a patch like missing off my nose and everything. Ugh. I really need to find a better setup guys. I'm gonna be so frustrated with sitting on the end of my bed and my legs are like hurting because of the way I'm sitting. First world problems, I know, but it's just... Ugh. I'm just so uncomfortable sitting by here. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world. If you're just now stopping by on my channel, I hope you decide to stick around. If you wish to, you just need to hit the red button down below and the bell button, and that'll just notify you whenever I upload next. And until then, I shall see you. <laughs> bye guys. Would it be alright by you if I to green if I you? Now that's not important to me. Yes, but up there will be the wizard and my heart. But it's just a very fluffy and it does fluff. It just fluffes up. <laughs> what am I trying to say? It just fluffes up. Fluff, fluffes up. What? But whites do usually have quite a. Uh, uh, words are so hard right now.